Oh, hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another van life adventure. We're starting this one at the top of the Superstition Mountains. This is Flatiron Peak. Oh shit, and I almost fell. Um, if you missed the last video, I flew all up in this territory. Didn't really make it close to the peak, but we just hiked up here. Um, our original plan was to go from here to Vegas, but a viewer that I actually met back up by Humphreys Peak area from that video. He recommended this cool flying site. It's a copper mine that's like an hour away from here. And also there's a uh, an aircraft boneyard at an airport like half an hour away from there. So once we hike down this mountain, we're gonna start tomorrow by the copper mine and then we're gonna have to find a launch site and hopefully hit the boneyard in the afternoon. So sit back, relax, enjoy the journey. Boom, time warp to the future. We've made it to the site provided by my man Brady. And this is an epic site. It's like nice and flat, super open. It's the afternoon, so we're only planning on flying this copper mine site today. And then hopefully tomorrow, I'll wake up early and we'll hit the, uh, the boneyard site. So this site is nice and wide open. It's super weird and random in the middle of nowhere. Um, but it's awesome, because we're gonna try to get Jacqueline up. Got her motor running successfully the other day and the scout machine is now fully tuned in for the altitude. We have, I don't know, like two, two and a half hours. I'm probably gonna go up pretty soon and check out the air, see how it is, make sure it's safe and comfortable for Jacqueline, and then we'll both get up and send it over the freaking copper mine. I'm hiding from the wind in the trailer um, and in an unfortunate turn of events we're having paramotor problems again I uh, wanted to test fly Jacqueline's motor just so I knew it was running right after we had the troubles and for some reason it sounds great doing everything except as you increase power to full it bogs like hard at about three quarters <laughs> it's just like Right on launch, you increase power up to full, you're running, you get off the ground, and then it's like blah. And then you have to be ready to either run again, or I was able to pilot it each time and like almost scrape the cage and get off the ground. Jacqueline's decided she could probably try it and take a risk and see what happens, but she's decided to play it safe and stay on the ground. So fortunately it's gonna be a solo mission again. We've got about an hour now, and I checked the place is like six miles from here. So I'm gonna get all suited up with the scout machine and we're gonna go check out this giant copper mine. We are up and running. pretty smooth. I'm bummed Jacqueline's not up. This was finally an opportunity to get her in the air because this site is super easy to launch. Oh dang. Check this fella out. He's just skirting on by in his twin whatever it is. Yeah, we're kind of near an airport. Um, there's an airport actually just about between here and there. Um, we're going to fly around the airport and definitely be vigilant of air traffic. 
So right by this little neighborhood, you can kind of see it. There's an airport. Um, we're going to make sure we're not near the ends of the runways. I think I'll skirt around south of the airport, north of the town, and directly on the horizon is where we're headed. I don't know much about this place, like the Meteor Crater. I can't really give you guys too many details, but apparently this thing is 900 something feet deep and it goes straight in the ground. It's not like a raised bit like the Meteor Crater was. Um, and the Meteor Crater depth was only 500 something. So this thing I think is a little bit smaller diameter, but much deeper. Pretty freaking neat if you ask me. Ah, oh, we got a ball game going on. Little Jimmy's Little League. Ah, oh, I can smell the McDonald's down there. If only there was a viable spot to land, we could just roll up to the drive-thru. Oh, hey, hey. Is this it right here? It's hard to tell because I'm taking it so low. I can't really identify where this thing is. But I feel like I might see it directly ahead of us. I looked at Google images of this thing and it looks super gnarly. I'm sure there's going to be a huge temptation to fly down in it like Meteor Crater. But at the same time, this wind that we're experiencing is going to create some crazy, nasty turbulence down in that hole. All right, she's just beginning to reveal herself. I can see it just off to my left. I'm gonna make the approach from the crosswind side. We got heavy winds at this altitude. I'm almost parked here. Jacqueline would have most definitely been parked because her wing is so much slower. But look at that. Freaking gnarly. There's something kind of eerie about it. It's like it wants to eat you. I think it's just eerie how freaking deep it is. Like the meteor crater is sick to look at because it's so wide. But this just is like, it's flat and it drops. Freaking insane. Gotta get that Instagram shot. I gotta go farther away so you can tell the scale. Get the horizon in the photo. Freaking drop my phone. Horizon's all like, so what happened to your old phone? Yeah, I dropped it in a copper mine from like 3,000 feet. All right, I just gained a little bit more altitude. I'm looking for a specific shot, and I needed more altitude to get it. <laughs> How trippy is that? Looking straight down. We are up here high. It's hard to tell the scale. Like, look at that town, and then look straight down. Do a barrel roll over it. I think we should, for good time's sake. <laughs> Freaking incredibly trippy. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. An insane, insane visual doing acro over a giant hole in the ground. Try to get that foot selfie. <laughs> All right, without a question, I'm not getting like lower or down in there or closer or anything. Um, it's just too windy. Up at this altitude, I'm nearly parked. So I don't want to mess with that. All right, we're going to do a casual Instagram story sweep. Oh, look at this. We're just flying in the desert. 
Oh wait, what is that? It's a giant freaking hole in the ground. Follow my Instagram, at TuckerGot. How's that angle? Come out of my harness a bit. Look freaking straight down. McGnarly! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start heading back to our little middle of nowhere airfield. I hate to leave Jacqueline all by herself longer than necessary. So we're gonna take advantage of the tailwind and stay up high. Just let my trimmers out so we go faster and we'll buzz on right past this airport. We'll see if I can remember where I launched from. It's kind of challenging to navigate out here. So the van life is going really well. Everything's working as it should. The solar is phenomenal. Um, our battery usage really isn't that hefty. She's performing flawlessly. Better than that is that there's no leaks in the ceiling. Engine is still running great. No broken exhaust. If you guys haven't yet, definitely check out our limited edition van life shirts. We got the van and the trailer, and the magical machine. We've also got sick hats. I'm looking forward to rocking one of them. And uh, we've got the free ride sticker. That's the way I'm flying now. So check that stuff out in the description. Once the video's done, of course, we gotta make sure I don't biff it on the landing. All right, here we are, parked in the middle of nowhere. We've got an airplane climbing out. Keeping an eye out for all the air traffic around here. Not really sure what the wind's doing on the ground. It's been all over the place. But I got my motor killed. We're gonna try to swoop her on in desert style. Drag a tow. Ah, right there we descended into warm air. It was smooth up top. We'll see how it feels down low. Oh uh, yeah, there's the warm desert air. on to our location for tomorrow morning. We've driven out into the middle of nowhere desert. I'm not sure if it's gonna be launchable here in the morning, but we're about five miles away from the Pinal Airport. I think like over 100 747 type airplanes just chilling, waiting to be flown around in the morning. Definitely stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.